Buongiorno everyone, welcome back to the Mac Ride Channel TV. No, I'm not hiking all the way to Glasgow, thankfully not, even though it might look like it right now. I am indeed on my way to the first part of today's journey. We're starting at 8.30am, heading to the metro now, metro to Central Station, Central Station to Edinburgh, Edinburgh to Glasgow. Let's go, we're ready for it, the big game, the first proper game of pre-season obviously we were at Gates the other day that was just seven left backs and a couple of kids in the thunder and lightning fantastic that was but today is when it really starts you know Ibrox really looking forward to getting to Ibrox you know an iconic footballing stadium I've drove past it before never actually been inside never been to a game there and it's a 50,000 crowd tonight for Alan McGregor's testimonial in Newcastle's pre-season oh is it so I'm buzzing for it 8,000 Geordies heading down to Scotland. It's going to be an absolute madness. And this is going to be a pre-match vlog, I think. I think we'll do two videos today. So this one's going to be obviously my journey to Glasgow. Show you the Newcastle fans in Scotland. Party scenes, you know, we're at that, uh, the Shed event where I think there's a good couple of thousand of Geordies are packing out that venue for around three o'clock, I think it is. So that'll be bouncing. Get some footage of that. Try and see if I can get that uploaded. And then the second video will probably come in a full time where it'll be a bit of my match reaction and obviously scenes from inside the ground and the fans and the players and all that. And hopefully we get to see the likes of Sandro Tonali tonight. Will we? Might be too soon. Obviously we know the full squad is travelling there. So we're probably going to see Callum Wilson, Isaac, maybe Bruno. But uh a lot stronger, better team than obviously we saw at Gator the other day. So, really looking forward to it. Can't wait to meet up with the lads now. Move out to Glasgow because this is obviously a place where Newcastle could be playing Champions League football next year. So, could this be a little warm up, a little taster? This is why it's a good battle, this. You know, facing European competition. Obviously, many people might frown, uh, frown upon the Scottish League, but listen to me, the Champions League, Rangers, and. Uh, and then we've got the Salah Cup as well, where that's European teams as well. So, you know, we're getting nicely warmed up. And a little taste, a little appetizer of what to come in terms of facing European opposition. So, enough of my waffling. Let me get to the Metro now, get to town, and get to Glasgow. Get the show on the road. Edinburgh, touchdown, next stop, Glasgow, Kiba, touchdown, Glasgow. Yeah, we're gone. Beautiful Glasgow. This is Ari. This like this is Ari. This little room for one night is double sound. Loads of mirrors. Loads of mirrors. If that's what you want. Do you know what I mean? Then look at this beautiful view. Ironing board. Little mirror in the middle of the hallway. Sweet. Nice little view. Fourth floor. And then I haven't looked at this yet. Actually, this must be the bathroom. Is it? Oh, oh, that was a nice noise. Nice. Just the shitter in there. Oh, you got a view from the shitter. Have you? Or is it? It's frosty. Thankfully, don't want people seeing us on the toilet. And then this. Can you open this? Can you open this? Oh, that's double sound. That I can, I can get into the bathroom really, really well. So if you want a shower, you're not having one. How the hell do you get in there? Eh, what the fuck? That's your sliding door. What? Oh, eventually got it open. It is just a nice little shower cubicle. There we go. There we go. And this one, shout out Paul, was a... Uh, a nice, I think it's like 100 odd quid a night for Glasgow. Rangers, that'll do. There's loads of hotel rooms in here. The old hotel. And uh, they've really crammed them in. But this will do me lovely. Mission control. It is an absolute mission trying to get out of here. Honestly, man, how long are these corridors? There's so many rooms. Jesus. 
And the, that's what the hotel room. Yes, you did. You said that one when you're good. And this is that hotel. No, you're not going to tell you. You're on now. You're on now. You know, we're in Scotland now. Yeah. And he's on the book fast. There we go. You know, you're in the heart of Scotland right now. And he's. Yeah, he loves it. He's Scottish mags. They absolutely love it. George. <laughs> Right then people, there we have it. That is your pre-match Rangers vlog. It seems like it's been a very long, very thirsty day. Quite a few beers consumed. Quite a bit of traveling done. You can see the shed there in the background is where there is thousands of Castle fans in there enjoying themselves, going mental. We've got about two and a half hours or so before kickoff now, at least at Ibrox. Um, and the atmosphere is building there. It's getting good. The tunes are bouncing. We're singing, we're having a good time. I can feel the hangover already. It's awful. <laughs> but uh, that's a good one. Loads of Newcastle fans completely taking over Glasgow today. Tens of thousands of them. You know what I mean? Apparently there's 8,000 tickets sold, but there's about 12,500 that have travelled down regardless. Seeing a lot of them just having a good time in the streets and the bars and the pubs in uh, the shed behind us there. That's one of the events. We've lost Newcastle fans inside of it. However, the main talking point that's coming out now before the game is that Alan St. Maxman has not travelled with the Newcastle United squad. So that is fueling speculation that his career at Newcastle United will be coming to an end. You know, he's not travelled tonight. He's, he's linked with a move to Saudi Arabia. You've now got various outlets and journalists reporting that this will pave the way for Harvey Barnes to sign for Newcastle United. On the Sunday transfer talk show, I said Harvey Barnes would be done this week for Newcastle United and I said that to loads of fans have came up to ask me at the day and said who's next what's happening I said Harvey Barnes will be done this week and it's looking like that could be the case now Alan St Maxman linked with a £40 million move to Saudi Arabia at the moment and um, obviously something's happening for him not to travel at all with the team considering that he started the game against Gateshead just a couple of days ago and scored in that match now he's not even with the team when all the big guns are travelling today apparently you know the likes of Tenali, Bruno, Joe Linton, Wilson, Isaac, Anthony Gordon they're all travelling to Glasgow then they're all travelling to the United States of America for that pre-season tour the Premier League Summer Series next week so no Alan St Maxman surely that means that his time at Newcastle United has come to an end Max is out that's looking at the case i said it all summer long I've said it for about a year now to be fair that Alan St Maxman will be sold Got a lot of criticism for it. I was just telling you what I thought was going to happen and telling you what am I saying what I think should happen? Maybe not, because you look at I love Maxi, he saved us during them dark, dark times under Steve Bruce. He was our only beacon of light. But at the same time, if we can bring in a Harvey Barnes for the same price who has way better goal contributions in in terms of assists and and goals, then it just makes sense. It really does. So in an ideal world, could you keep both? Could you get someone on the right and keep Maxi? Well, Newcastle and St Maximum look to have decided to part ways so that's an interesting one we'll bring you more on that as it comes but the news today on this fine Scottish Tuesday afternoon I'm saying fine I'm just really glad it isn't absolutely lashing it down as it has been in stages throughout the day and like it was at Gateshead the other day I can avoid ponchos we'll be having a good time so I hope you've enjoyed this vlog you know you've seen the travel down you've seen the, the hotel and now I'm bringing you the latest news of Alan St Maximum not travelling Look, certain that his uh, transfer out of Newcastle United is fast approaching. Stay tuned. There will be another video tonight from the from this uh, trip to Glasgow. You know what I'll do is may get a couple more bits of footage in there. 
then we'll get footage going up to iBox, in iBox, footage of the game, after the game, all of that. So stay tuned to the Mike by Channel TV for your full match day vlog. This is like a pre-match one. Let us know if you've enjoyed it. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you on the next one.